næste Bøje Larsens blog. Jeg håber, du vil glæde dig over den video, jeg præsenterer i dag. In this video, I will tell you about the prominent and clever Danish writer, critic and scholar George Brandes, 1842-1927. And I will give 10 quotations from his work. Brandes played an important role in introducing and promoting the ideas of the European Enlightenment and Modernism in Denmark. He was a strong advocate for freedom of speech, individualism, and the scientific approach to literature and art. And he was and is known widely beyond the borders of Denmark. Perhaps, he is the most known Dane in the world, besides the physicist Niels Bohr, who contributed to the atomic bomb, Hans Christian Andersen, author of fairy tales, and Victor Borga, entertainer and pianist. Brandis was a professor at the University of Copenhagen, where I studied more than 70 years later. One wonders how the university could accept such a progressive voice at that time. Some of Brandis' important books, which have been translated into English, are Main Currents in 19th Century Literature William Shakespeare, A Critical Study Emil Zola, A Biographical and Critical Study Literary Tendencies in Contemporary Europe And now for the quotes from Brandis. I will barely comment on them. They are speaking, I should think, for themselves. The notion of monarchy clashes with democratic principles as inherited power should be subject to scrutiny and accountability. Traditional aristocracy, based on birthright, undermines the ideals of meritocracy and individual freedom. The future belongs to those who dare to challenge the present. The strongest power is the power of truth, and the power of truth will always prevail. It sounds like Brandis would approve of my YouTube slogan, Truth or Nothing. The true leader is one who dares to challenge conventional wisdom and embrace new ideas, leading society towards progress. Leadership requires a deep understanding of the social, political, and cultural contexts in which one operates, and a willingness to address the needs and aspirations of the people. Today, we would also mention the employees. Effective leaders promote intellectual independence and critical thinking, fostering an environment that encourages diverse perspectives and open dialogue. Leaders should actively engage with the intellectual and cultural movements of their time, staying informed and embracing the opportunities for growth and change. Leadership involves a commitment to freedom of thought and expression, allowing individuals to express their ideas and contribute to the betterment of society. Thank you for listening to George Brandis.